Good morning and welcome to Floss Tube number 12. This is the fourth attempt at recording. I've had snowdrop interruptions, I've had mother interruptions. This is how it goes. Um, today is Wednesday 16th of March. It's about quarter to 12. It's a bit dull and grey out there. Um, my husband has taken my car for its MOT. So it seemed like a good time to sit down and record with a bit of peace and quiet. Yeah, that hasn't happened. Anyway, let's get on with the whips. Um, I've got five whips to show you this week. Um, I knew a couple of them I've counted for games, so I've actually got a decent amount of progress on those two. Um, I don't count for my mill hills, because um, they're sort of a, a chill out thing at the end of the day, and I don't count my stitchery. It's difficult to count. You know, it's it's just filling in lines, so how do you count it? Right, so let's get to started. The first one is Sleepy Hollow by Glendon Place. This is what it should look like. And this is where I am. Obviously there's a little bit more horse, but there's actually not that much more done outside of this frame anyway. So and the last couple of weeks since I've seen you last, I've worked on the tree, the grass in this area, the gravestones, and last night I did the border. Um, the designer does suggest doing all of the picture bit first, then the border, then the writing and the back stitch and the beads. Um, I know if I don't do the border as I go. I won't do it. It'll just end up as a UFO and I really don't want that because I love this design. So, border as I go. That is on 28 Count Brittany from Pulse Stitches in the colourway Hocus Pocus, which came as part of the um, magical theme box that uh, she did with Joan Elliott a few months ago. Um, secondly is Cryptids Sal and I will put a photo in of the ideal finished um, object. So since the last time we saw this I have finished Kraken and the skulls underneath, finished the top row of the border and made got most of the uh, death worm done. So, um, I haven't finished that because I couldn't easily make it fit in with this week's prompts for magical stitches, but um, Sleepy Hollow does. That is on 32 count, even we from Jodry Designs. Colourway is Zeus. So, um, my Mill Hills are Boris the Bat and polar santa these will both be cut out when they're completed and uh, boris comes with a magnet so he can become fridge magnet and ice cap santa can be an ornament so and i'll find a way to put the photos in of where we were so boris the bat is now all stitching is complete um, he's just waiting for his beads. And Santa's bag and coat are pretty much done. At least this part of his coat. This isn't. But his bag's done. So those little bits will just need beads. But there's a lot more stitching to do before I get to that point. Um, so both of those are being done um, with the hashtag Mill Hill Monday. Um, Ice Cap Santa is also being done with the hashtag Stitchy Santa Sunday, which my friend Sam came up with when so many of us in our game group bought Santas from Morty a couple of weeks ago. Um, since then, it has spread to um, the Coven. And... Uh, 
Amber Road Mama Stitcher has been generous enough to send Santas out to various people. So um, I imagine next weekend there'll be a lot more Stitchy Santa Sunday hashtags coming up. Um, another hashtag you should know about Sleepy Hollow. We're doing um, Sleepy Hollow Coven Cell. And Witchy Stitcher is hashtag Cryptid Sam. Now, my final whip is my magical bookcase stitchery from Paul Stitches. Um, it's a fun little stitch. There's uh, just whatever colours you want. Um, as I've said before, I'm using shades of red on the top shelf, there'll be shades of purple on the middle shelf, and shades of blue on the bottom shelf, with the shelves themselves actually done in shades of brown. So since last time I've worked on these houses and I've finished all the tiles on this roof, although I haven't finished the edges yet. So that is my magical bookcase stitchery from Pole Stitches. The Needle Mind Out was a freebie at the last Pole Stitches retreat from Denke Designs. Um, Charisse Raven runs that. She, yeah. Uh, Basically did a lucky dip, everybody got a draw and I got an apple. So very pleased with that. Um, so that's basically my whips. Um, three of them count for our coven hashtag of spooky magic all year round. Um, Carrie DNA Geek Crafts came up with that one because she likes to do spooky stuff all year round. And why not? Okay, on to haul. You've already seen a little bit of my haul, well, the only physical part of my haul, which is this dragon needle minder. Um, that's made by Agnes Little Minders on Etsy. Now she will build up a collection and then um, just do a, a spot sale on a particular weekend. And when they're gone, they're gone and they're quite often gone within about five minutes. Um, I've been lucky enough to get three in the past, but this time there was only, I only wanted the one, I only wanted the red and black. She's already working on the next collection, so uh, we'll see where we go from there. I do have other haul, and I, I always seem to forget to show you these. Um, I do buy a lot of PDF patterns, um as opposed to physical patterns um i use pattern keeper if i can't use pattern keeper um i will use goodreader it it works um most of the charts you get on etsy will work on pattern keeper a lot of them actually do um charts with backstitch and chart without so you can just put in the chart that doesn't have the back stitch and pattern keeper and it works fine. So I'm actually going to remember to show you these this time. <laughs> so we have this is from Green Terrace, Lord of the Rings. So we've got our Siron, Minas Terra. Um, this was inspired by Amber Road Mama Stitcher. Um, took a couple of attempts to get it for some reason PayPal wasn't working but eventually it worked when I'm going to do it God only knows but yeah, I like that one um, we've also got this one from Al Forest Embroidery it's called The Cats Have Arrived now, this was a freebie that uh, Sammy again told us about so, um, yeah, I grabbed that. It will be my first Al Forest embroidery design. More Sal pages have arrived. So Crystal Eyes now has Obsidian to go with Larimar, Malachite and Amber. I still only have done two colours on Amber. I bought three pieces from... Um, Cute Patterns by Maria, who is a Ukrainian designer. I've bought a few things from her in the past. 
um, but I thought these were particularly nice. So we've got thistle. Well, my sister actually used these in her wedding flowers. My brother-in-law's buttonhole was this sort of thistle, but I just love the purple. And a couple of feathers. So this is the magic feather. Just love the colours in that. I love the jewel colours. And yellow feather. So I see gold rather than yellow. So there's that one. And we also have part two of the Narnia stitch along. So that's from Stitching Book Club. I love the colours in this, but I haven't even kitted it up yet. I need to get my own thumb and gear, get that done. So that's everything that I bought this month. I'm not going to go through everything I've got in February because it's just like, no. I bought some Anne Stokes because they're retiring and there were feels. So, you know, you can't not get them. This is Weeble and Spud. They're a beautiful pair of bonded boys, only about a year old. They've been at the shelter a while now and they have been hiding quite successfully. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I was able to stroke them, but they stayed pretty much at the limits of my reach. But now look at them after a lot of the staff and volunteers have spent quite a bit of time working with them just sitting with them playing with them talking to them they really are coming out of their shell after i took this video i spoke to the center manager about including it on this floss tube and she told me that there was a reserve being processed for them um, which is really good news and i hope that all goes through successfully because they deserve the best possible home Okay, floss tubes. Um, the only new floss tuber, and that's new to me, that I've watched was a couple of stitches. Um, so I found her through Morty. Um, she is Ukrainian but lives in Cyprus, but happened to be in Ukraine at the time of the invasion, but has been able to get home with her mum and her dog. So obviously very worried about other family members still caught up in it as is pretty everybody yeah everybody um hopefully things will resolve themselves soon <sighs> sorry plus two bitchy snitch okay other than her other than cup of stitches i have watched um I've caught up with Mad Morty, Total Stitch Show and Rogue Mama Stitcher. Um, so that's Morty, Steph and Amber. Um, keep up the good work, Toasty. Um, Rogue Mama Stitcher, last few videos she's actually done with her son, known as Toasty. Um, he seems like a great kid, you know, even that he wants to do these videos with his mum. He's done a bit of stitching himself, although the stitchy fairy seems to do some while he's in bed. Um, but he likes to show the other stuff he's done, his Lego stuff, his 3D puzzles. Um, he's gaining in confidence every time he does one. It's brilliant to watch him develop. Um, I do have a watch later list on YouTube. Um, it's, it's getting a bit long. I really need to sit down and do some catching up. My watch later list is on a phone, iPad, whatever, but I tend to watch on the TV. So I've got to go through my list and go, go search it and then take it off the list. Okay, so other videos. Um, my husband and I found um, this wonderful channel. It's called The Natasha and Debbie Show. Um, and it's... Um, as they describe themselves, just a couple of patriotic gals. 
Well, they do reaction videos. It's mostly reactions to travel videos. And so far, they have pretty much been in the UK. Um, some of the places I've never been. Most of the places I've never been. Um, but I love seeing the UK through the eyes of other people, people who haven't been here, just watching videos that other people have put up. Um, I love seeing the reaction. It really makes me appreciate what we have here. Um, our landscape differs so much. The mountains in Scotland, Snowdonia, to the lakes, to um, the fens in Norfolk and, oh, and East Anglia and that. It's just palm trees in Cornwall, you know, <laughs> it's the, I think it was Crowded House did a song called Four Seasons in One Day, that, that's the UK, you know, that is us. Um, so yeah, they mostly have done reactions to travel videos, but they've also done some reactions to um, some comedy videos, most notably Al Murray, um, but also one of my favourite ever sketches. The, uh, the two on his four candles. I love that. I love that sketch. Um, but they also did the kind of updated version in the same Natasha and Debbie video, which was um, my Blackberry stopped working. Um, but Ronnie Corbett is the customer and Harry Enfield is doing the um, the greengrocer because Blackberry is a Blackberry, not a fun, a piece of fruit. So, yeah, give them a watch. They're uh, they're fun. They really are fun. Their reactions. A to the comedy, but B to just what our country looks like. They keep asking people to adopt them so they can move over here. Um, yeah, I'll put a link below for that. They're uh, they're fun, and they have quite a lot of videos going. They do live videos on a regular basis and. They're good fun. Okay, now on last time I told you about a new app I'd found, um, a journaling app called Zinnia. So I just want to show you what I've been up to with it. See if I can find it again. Okay. So what I've decided to do with it is basically use it to journal my whips my finished projects rather than just having a photo album with you know no real information or interest just photo so i've decided to do something like this so this is for cryptids the kraken and i've just done bullet points just taken bullet points from the write-up that um witchy stitcher puts with the chart so I've just taken out some salient points. So I'll do another one on here. That'll probably be whichever one is next to Kraken in the chart. So I'll, uh, I haven't been doing them in order at this point. So I've started a bit with Deathworm, but I haven't finished the stitching, so I haven't put it in yet. Again, with Flatwood one for Flatwood Monster. I haven't even started stitching that, so I've just been having a bit of a play with that. And I've done similar with Crystallized Sal. So, in celebration of a new start. Some information about Amber. Photos are found in various places online. Just some of the um, aspects of the stone. And again with malachite, Aramar. Um, let's go on to life. Um, the new boiler is in. I was able to have a bath without worrying about the hot water running out. Um, never a major worry, but you know, it's nice to not have to think about it. Um, the roots are gone. Managed to get cancellation. Um, other than that, um, mum and dad have not been too well, so yeah, doing a bit of 
shopping for them. Other than that, not been anywhere, seen anyone except work. Um, so I think that's about it really. Um, off to the vet with Ozzy this afternoon, just get his glucose levels checked. Um, the injections really don't seem to bother him that much. I'm not sure he even notices them. The needle is so fine. I'm really not sure he feels it. Um, I feel it for him. But uh, yeah, we're, we're getting in a bit of a routine with it now. Um, we've, I think he's figured out wherever he hides I can get to him. So he's not getting away with it. So I think... Yeah, I think that's everything. So everybody stay safe, look after each other, be kind, keep crafting, be mindful, and enjoy life the best you can. And I will see you next time. Bye.